manage, we don't worry about whatever, and we just kind of do what we do. We're just the most boring, unfashionable people there are. Wait, is that good yet? Nerds. Well, you know, the nerd looks really in. They're not nerds. <laughs> I don't think I'm a nerd, but, um, you know, if that's the way people perceive us, whatever. Um. Hey there, you want to talk about chili peppers? Rivers? That was the Chili Peppers in at number two with Under the Bridge here on the Alternative Nation Countdown. This is Rivers Cornwall and uh, Matt Sharp. It's just beginning to get violent. No, it's not. We it don't. Is. We don't have to get. Do you know violence is the number one problem among teens? He's gonna teams? hit you any minute now. He's not looking at him. He's a dog. Uh, he's gonna wet. He's gonna. He's a happy little monkey boy. Do you want a hug? We've got the latest from Matthew Street. We've got the latest from Matthew Street. On the way. I like. I am really. Hi. Have you guys been invited to Michael Jackson's Neverland Ranch? Neverland Valley Ranch, I think it is. Say it. No. I've always been attracted to bands that just have amazing songs and that can play, but also have this really strange energy about them, but they don't get up and rap and like wear monster outfits or like Star Trek uniforms and have like exploding toilets and, you know, like talking about like date raping chicks. It's like, that's never been my thing. It's like I grew up listening to The Replacements and the Pixies and stuff, so. No, they didn't wear like Godzilla uniforms, like, oh, chugga chugga, chung 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 chung. I don't know what that is. <laughs> that was awesome. Woo! Woo! <laughs> the girls tell me they think Rivers is the cute one. They want to put him in their back pocket and take him home. I'm wondering about groupie action. It doesn't happen in Weezer shows. It doesn't? Unfortunately. Not at all? Is this true? Rivers. I wasn't listening. <laughs> no, rock and roll is like Chuck Berry. We all know what happened to him. No. They can watch people pee. We don't, but... <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> well, video is directed by a guy who's got quite a reputation in the rock world for directing videos as well. <laughs> That's just Carl. Don't mind Carl. <laughs> Carl, can we help you with something? <laughs> You know, we've got a brand new video coming up from the Goo Goo Dolls from the latest, the latest release from Supergrass and Dandelion. I'm Pat. This is Matt. We're for Weezer. All right, we have the number one alternative video in the world coming up next as the Alternative Nation countdown continues with the boys from Weezer. Pudding? No. Hi, we're Weezer. Hi. How's it going? You yes. should, we're gonna, is it? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I forgot everything she said. Okay. Okay, you're Weezer. Hi, we're Weezer. We're back on tour. Yo. And, and you can get the scoop at outloud.yahoo.com. Right. <laughs> okay, say we're... Okay, we're Weezer and we're on the... Outloud.yahoo. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, we're Weezer and we're on the outloud.yahoo.com tour and we're kicking off in February. We're back. That's right. It's fancy. See you there. You can chat with us. <laughs> Alright, do we know what we're saying now? Hi, uh, we're Weezer. Check us out. We're, we're chatting live on Yahoo. And we like logs. Logs can keep you warm. Hi, we're Weezer. Check out our exclusive audio and video at outloud.yahoo.com. <laughs> Hi, we're Weezer and we're plugging our tickets. Check out our official fan club at Outlog. <laughs> one more time, one more time. Listen, are you guys recording anything while you're on the road? Yeah. Really? Yeah. You record like on a mini dat? Yeah. We should be recording too then, Rage. We should be, but we haven't written a song in years. Hey, um, <laughs> how do you guys write your songs? Wait a second, you're turning the tape. Wait a minute. <laughs> Um, they were super cool. And the first time we um, we were, were in London, uh, where, where we we go to this um, a rehearsal space that uh, you know it's kind of like a almost like a recording studio rehearsal space, and uh, we passed Oasis in the hallway, and we're like, oh my god! And and, and Liam just goes, Buddy Holly, top tune, top tune. <laughs> and- Hi, it's Britters from the world famous Sea Fox. Today I'm joined by Patrick Wilson, Scott Shiner of Pearl Jam. Pearl Jam. Oh, man, Rivers. Rain. How's it going? Hey, good. You know what's so crazy? Is your name is Rivers and my name is Rain, and 
They're both such watery names. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's like, what's next? We're gonna meet some kid named Lakey Boy? <laughs> Yeah, um, we, we didn't think anyone was going to buy that package. Yeah, well, I did, so... Is it true that if you play, if you play um, the sweater song backwards, it says smoke pot, smoke pot, everybody smoke pot? Exactly. We kicked ass. I can't I can't believe how amazing we are. Honto ni honto. Honto ni homa. Osaka Bay is Osaka dialect. Do you think there's any possibility a fan would have put poison in this cheesecake? Um, does it taste poison? It tastes great, okay. but... <laughs> Be sure to check out 120 Minutes next week when Spearhead will be here to guest host. I'm Jim Cooks, brewer of Samuel Adams' Boston Lager. And I'm Chuck Heston. This tree will be available on <laughs> Yahoo Auctions. <Washington. laughs> River's tree, but he's... We're monkeying around. Right now we're taking a break from rehearsal. <laughs> but after that, we're going to log on to Outlaw. Outlaw. <laughs> When I get tired, I want to log on to outloud.yahoo.com for a refreshing experience. Don't forget to chat with us. <laughs> Sorry, plug in. As an added bonus, you can win cool stuff. Like this Weezer tree. It was grown in South America, but we had it imported. And you can win it at outloud.yahoo.com <laughs> Don't forget to chat. <laughs> It'd be a good idea to vote for us because we're the most handsome band in the world. Believe it. Have yep. a biscuit. Have a small biscuit. <laughs> Not a limp biscuit now. A weasel biscuit. Have a... <laughs> so, um, have you ever thought of adding a chainsaw into your live act? Um, I don't know how to Not play one. No. Not those churches freak me out, though, to be honest. I mean, when I was a kid, churches were stained glass, very uncomfortable seats, dour people, very somber, awful sermons, pipe organ. Now, it's like a fucking rock concert with electronic drums and lattes and what the f fake tits and shit. It's terrible. That, sound, that sounds uh, underrated. I'd be. <laughs> <laughs> Last time, the last time Pat, Pat and I spent like a few summers ago, we, we decided like this month we were so bored. <laughs> this month we're gonna smoke pot every day. We're just gonna smoke it. And at the end, at the end of the month, we were so paranoid that we'd be like locked in our house. It gets we so all bad. Lived together like, at River, and we'd be all, and we got rivers in on it too. So the three of us would be like watching movies at three in the morning, like eating ice cream, and someone would knock at the door and be like, oh my be like God. who is that? Who is that? Like, we're 14, and like by the end of the month, dude, I wake up one day and I have like a fucking Fu Manchu mustache, <laughs> and I open my closet and it's all like Hawaiian shirts, and I was like, oh, Pat, I'm not smoking pot anymore, this I sucks. Know, At one point in our interview, Cuomo accidentally knocked out one of our lights with his foot. Oops, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hi, we're Weezer, and don't monkey around. No. Just chat. That's right. <laughs> Let's start now. Hi, we're Weezer. And check it out. <laughs> Wait, let's start again. Hi, we're Weezer. And quit logging around. The first 10,000 people who buy our ticket will automatically win something. Recipes from the band. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> now, normally these recipes go for $20 a piece. Wait a minute. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. You and get a cool ticket, a free gift, and $5 off. 
You can win a bucket of porridge. <laughs> <laughs> but you might not. Some kind of fancy television thing. <laughs> Have to say one more time. Voulez-vous coucher avec moi ce soir? Voulez-vous coucher? Allez voir, no soir, vous choix. <laughs> Perfect. In one in twenty minutes, I'm Pat, and you're watching House of Style. And I'm Matt, and you're watching House of Style. We're from Weezer. Tonight we have a live performance from The Verve coming up, and right now it's a brand new one from the Boston band Letters to Cleo. Although their debut album, Aurora Gory Alice, was recorded back in 93, it wasn't until early this year that their song, Here and Now, was featured on the Melrose Place soundtrack. And the video landed into the MTV buzz band. That's when things really took off for the band. <laughs> well, did they really take off, I'll tell you. They've just released a second album. It's called Wholesale Meats and Fish. And the first video off It's Called, It's Is Called, It's Called, Wake, Wake Me. me. When Letters to Cleo stopped by 120 earlier this year, they hadn't yet started recording the new album, but they were definitely <laughs> ready to. That'll be your angle. Weezer slipped into the, you know, the slide of what marijuana. A, what a lame abuse. pedestrian drug, too. It's not like we're heroin addicts. It's like, we were smoking pot. He -he -he. Like, he -he -he. Oh, we couldn't do our record. Oh, we were so stoned. <laughs> No, 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 no. Come Come to Weezer. Yeah, yeah that's right. Weezer. <laughs> <laughs> that was painful. <laughs> <laughs>